So most people recall getting, shall we say, um, <laughs> too experienced with vodka in college. Maybe even high school. Too much of an experience. Uh, yeah, too much of an experience. <laughs> Hi, I'm Stephanie Patrick. I'm executive editor at Adweek, and I'm here today with Rodney Williams, who is the global president and CEO of Belvedere Vodka. And we're at Brand Week in Palm Springs, where Rodney actually just spoke today. So thank you for taking a stop here and uh, speaking with us. Happy to be here with you. It's great to have you. What are you most excited about right now? What's happening at Belvedere? We are in the process of really an innovation revolution. This past year, we launched two single estate vodkas. So we took rye, same grade of Dankowski mm -hmm. rye, best top grade rye, planted one set in an estate in the north of Poland near the Baltic where the winters are severe and cold, and planted the same rye in the west of Poland where the weather front is more continental and temperate. And if you've never had vodka before in your life, yeah. you can taste the difference between the two. You know, we know that uh, wine is a great demonstration of terroir, but we're now able to really demonstrate that. Is yeah. there a change in the way people are drinking vodka? Is it less of a mixer? And You know, that's a great question. Yeah. And wh what we're finding is it's not so much about the consumption, but more about the type of experience people are interested mm -hmm. in. So most people recall getting, shall we say, um, <laughs> too experienced with vodka in college. Maybe even high school. Too much of an experience. Uh, yeah, too much of an experience. <laughs> and it was pretty low, you know, low grade vodka mixed with orange juice or coke. And yeah. it's not an experience once you get to your mid-20s and beyond that you really want to revisit. So, <laughs> to put what, it mildly. To put it mildly. But what's, what's so interesting, especially about the millennial generation, is there's a big interest in artisanal quality spirits and really matching things with food, being foodies. And so uh, to the degree to which vodka can afford the same level of experience that people have come to expect from you know, whiskeys and gins and tequilas, people are quite excited about it. What innovation do you see on the horizon that has the potential to change the way you're doing business? On the product side, we're very excited about things that allow us to deliver more flavor um, and still be all natural. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people often thought of vodka as a neutral spirit. It has no taste or character. And because we're made with rye, We've always prided ourselves in having flavor, in having taste, and having lots of character. Um, and then I think in terms of the communication side, because there's just been such an explosion in social media of different vehicles through which to reach consumers, we're excited to really rely much more on user-generated um, content and experiences for helping consumers understand the Belvedere story yeah. versus being so reliant on us. That's great. And so what's, what's the thing keeping you up at night? What are your challenges? Well, the thing that keeps us up at night is really connectivity and, um, and finding meaningful ways to, uh, to connect with the consumer. You know, there's this explosion of information now, and the average consumer spends about five hours on his or her phone. The flip side of that is we're also reading that there's a high degree of loneliness yeah. uh, and a real desire to feel connected with brands that reflect their values, uh, consumer values, but also with other consumers who share those values. So the degree to which we can figure out how to facilitate that, we're quite intrigued about. One of the challenges that we have is that as a spirits producer in the United States, we can't actually own retail. We have to be sold through distributors. So Meaning it's hard to go direct to consumer right, because of laws. Right. right? Yeah. So we need to be really creative in terms of the way in which we yeah. engage consumers with experiences. And last question for you, what is the best piece of advice that you've ever received or given to somebody? Always remember, there's room at the top. So if this mm. is your passion and this is what you believe in, you work hard at it and you go do it yeah. without apology. And I think that's great. And I think, um, you know, a lot of people say to me, well, how did you end up 
you know, working on a Polish vodka brand of all things. And I think it's because um, I was fortunate enough to work on very strong teams, building other brands within Moet Hennessy and, and previously in other work experiences that really helped prepare me yeah. for, uh, for this challenge. But the key thing is to follow your passion. Yeah. Even if it's a little off the beaten trail mm -hmm. or you don't necessarily see other people doing the same thing. Right, or even if you're passionate about something that's really competitive. I yes. love that. There's yes. room at the top. There's room at yeah. the top. Rodney, thank you so much for joining me today. Oh, my pleasure. And thank you all for joining us for Top of Mind.